Tuesday on the Marilyn Dennis Show, we get your arms summer ready when Jennifer Aniston's yoga instructor reveals the workouts you can do at home to get those perfectly sculpted arms. That's Tuesday on an all-new Marilyn. My next guest is from Alberta, yes, that's right, who's made a name for herself on both sides of the border. She's the star of CTV's new medical drama, It's Excellent, Saving Hope. Please welcome Erica Durant. <laughs> Beautiful. How about that? That big show tonight, Saving Hope premieres tonight, Nervous? I am. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a bit anxious. I'm waking up in the middle of the night with these anxious thoughts of, oh, here it is, is it's out there. Yeah. I thought I've been kind of playing in make-believe land, but now it's out there. Now so. it's out there. So yeah. you're going to watch it tonight when it comes on CTV tonight? We're going to have a little party, yeah. Oh, I this is say. exciting. Yeah. Everybody's going to gather around in a, in a condo, a house? What are you doing? There, there, there's a group of us and the writers, and we're all going to get together and... And watch. That's good. It's a lot of work. You've been yeah. start, you started in March, I know, and yeah. did a lot of uh, episodes. So tell us about the premise of Saving Hope. Well, the premise of Saving Hope is basically it's a it's a medical drama with a twist. It's a it's a love story, and my character Alex Reed we, and Michael Shanks's character were going to go get married. He ends up getting into a coma, right? And uh, he, on the day of your on the day, on the day of getting our, married, you know, yeah, talk yeah. about a ruin in a girl's day. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we're thrust into this whole whole experience of of her trying to bring him back. Sure. And, and so her set of values is totally thrown. She was a scientist. She's a doctor. She believes in what you can see and feel and touch. And all of a sudden, she's going, I'll do anything. I'll do anything to bring him back. Right, right. Yeah. Interesting point on this one, because you and I have talked before. This is based on a, an, an article that was a three-part article in the Globe and Mail at one point. You want to tell everybody about yeah, that? Yeah, originally started out as these, these stories that were originally about the Canadian health care system. And it, it piqued the interest of one of our, our creators, Morwen Brebner. Uh, but the actual idea of it is is a story about her own life. She is a fairly pragmatic woman and doesn't really believe that there's anything else out there. And her her little baby girl got sick and they went to the hospital and she said the first thing I did was pray to whatever was out there. Mm -hmm. So it's more than just what you see. Yeah, it's, it's a spirituality. Yeah, out between there. science and faith. Okay, let's see a scene from Saving Hope. Here we go. Can't wait to see it. Here we go. Yeah, let's go faster. Move. I think I'm bleeding into my head. I was lucid for a while, so it's probably an epidural bleed. It was lucid right before it happened. It was probably an epidural bleed. Start an IV. You need a respiratory therapist. Let's go. Let's go. Got another 14 gauge left AC. Screen for two units. You get some baseline electrolyte. Give me a gown. Let's get him in a CT. Radiology's backed up. He's a chief of surgery. He's not going to wait. You tell her, Alex. Where is my gown? He's not withdrawing from pain. He's been unconscious for 37 minutes. Wait a second. That's just a little bit about what you're going to see tonight. Just you know, it's, it's so teaser. interesting. It's a teaser. So, were you nervous about playing a lead in a major television series? I was tentative about it. You know, at the time, I just didn't think about it. I saw this part, and it was such a great part for a woman. And then I started doing it, and it became this this big thing. I think now I'm starting to go, oh, my gosh, because I'm seeing the, the ads everywhere, and I saw my yeah. face somewhere. Yeah. It was huge oh, you're there, front and center. <laughs> you got, she got a huge billboard, so that's I a did. big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, no, it's big. Hi, everybody. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, you're playing this doctor, and you had to research this role. So how much research did you do? Uh, you know, I was thrown into it pretty quickly, even though we shot it a long time ago. But yeah. I, I, did some, I did some reading. But the, the most interesting thing for me was a very gracious doctor in the Toronto area allowed me to shadow him as he was doing some surgeries. Mm. And, uh, oh, how'd that go for you? That was, Tough, huh? you know what, it was, it was an interesting experience because you think, you think you go feel a little nauseous about the whole thing, mm -hmm. but it just became this watching like a science project it, mm -hmm. it was I, it was surreal so i just distanced myself from it but it was fascinating um what they can do what they can do they they I, I tell you they they really go to work every day don't they absolutely they really do now we're talking about medical that medical aspect and everything but the guy in the coma is giving us kind of a dialogue of what he's seeing and feeling i want to give away the show but we hear this is the different dy dimension yeah. it's the supernatural and without giving too much away I like it because it's another layer to most other shows. Absolutely. How would, I don't want to give it away, so how would you describe well, it? Well, you know, it just gives us that bird's eye view into uh, 
what we might be thinking about. And all of us are so fascinated. I mean, anybody that I know is fascinated what happens after. Yeah. And uh, it just, they do it in such a way that it's so realistic. So you're not in this like hokey world of, okay, now we're in the spiritual realm. No, yeah. it's just stark and it just feels like it, you're in yeah. the same place. Yeah. And, and so there's all these different conversations that happen and a different perspective. Sure, because they always say like when people go into comas and things that they can hear things, that they, that they can hear conversations. Yeah. So it takes it to that kind of level. Yeah. Now, I gotta talk to you about um, other things that you've done. I mean, uh, how about this? Uh, FHM, uh, Sexiest Woman Magazine. Okay, <laughs> what was it? There was a, you've been a, a FHM Magazine's Top 100 facts. Sexiest <laughs> Women several times. Okay, you made the cover of Maxim in 2007. <laughs> <laughs> and you look great. How do you Thank stay in you. shape? Uh, well, they don't call it the Battle of the Bulge for nothing. It's a constant, constant <laughs> effort. And uh, for me, it's just changing it up. You yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. went through the, the yoga phase. Did I haven't you? hit the Pilates phase, but I hear it's exciting. Um, I do a lot of the running. At the end of the day, I go back to the running because if it really hurts, it's usually working. Okay, so, how, <laughs> so when you finish a long day and you do decide to run, how far yes. do you run? Oh, you know what? At the end of because most of my days are fourteen, sixteen hours, it's amazing. right? It's so hard work. Yeah. you know, you're looking at. I, I'm lucky if I don't fall off the treadmill after half an hour or forty minutes, okay. right? You just go there and just Good run. And, but it's also therapeutic for me, right? Sure. You know, kind of get to think through the day and everything. Yeah. And you don't look like you go to the craft table that much. I try to avoid it. <laughs> but it's I a have big my... buffet of food, you know? <laughs> and you really want to go for the good stuff, but you go for the broccoli. I get that. It's cruel. Let's give a shout out to where you are from. I am from Three Hills, Alberta. Yeah. Tell us about Three Hills, Alberta. Where is it? And tell us a little bit about Three it. Three Hills, Alberta is between Calgary and Edmonton. Yes. It's just a long highway, too. It's this tiny little blip, and you wouldn't notice it unless uh, you were looking really cl closely at the signs. Sure. And a little town of about 3,500 people. Yeah. And I'm going to think about that every time I go into Drumheller, because I've got uh, yeah. people in Drumheller. So I'm going to think about you every time I see that. Yeah. That is excellent. And you're married. Tell us a little bit about your personal life. My personal life is uh, the thing that keeps me sane. I am married to the most wonderful man. He treats me like gold. He's incredibly patient. What does he do? He is actually, he's transitioned. He was acting for a very, very long time in the theater in London mm -hmm. and London and all that. And then he came over here and dabbled in it a little bit, but found that his true passion is in renovating and building homes. So oh my gosh, maybe we can feature him on the show. Yeah, we you can feature him in my house. Yes. He's building a house that's gonna be ready in August. He's designed the whole thing himself, and him and his brother are are doing it. Is it in Vancouver or here? It's in Vancouver. Okay, we've gotta get our cameras there. Hey, listen, Erica, so great to see you. Congratulations, Thank lead you. role. Thank you. Big deal, big deal. Saving Hope premieres tonight on CTV, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a big hit. Okay, thank you to Erica. All the thank best. You if you need to take a break, we'll be right back. Well done. Well done. Up next, Canadian actress Emmanuel Shriki shares her beauty tips that will get you summer ready.